All right, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome the DePaul Blue Demons to the panel. Beginning at the far end of the table, allow me to introduce sophomore Kelly Campbell. Moving down this way, junior Marte Grays and senior Amara Coleman. Seated immediately next to me is head coach Doug Bruno, and we will begin today with questions for our student athletes, please. Cease. If I could address this to two of you, I guess we'll start with Marty and then Amara. What is different about the way you guys shoot three-pointers, or what, what makes you guys different than the way other teams run and shoot three-pointers? Um, I would have to say what makes it different is um, Coach gives us the greenest green light in America. So, you know, around a lot of programs, you're really limited on what shots you can take and he really presses that, you know, you can, as long as you're open, you can shoot it. So, um, and I think that brings a lot of confidence in our shooting. Yeah. Um, feeding off what she said, um, we also practice a lot of um, shots in the, in practice, we, we shoot a lot of shots and that give us the confidence in the practice just to, you know, make and take open shots. More for student athletes. Cease again. Kelly, looking at Texas A&M, do they remind you of any team they've played, and what do you think you're going to have to do to be able to stop whatever they do best? Um, I mean, we can relate them to Oklahoma as they have a big inside game, but um, I think the keys to the game will be just executing what we have been trying to execute all season. I don't think it'll be anything extraordinary, but just play our game the way we play it, do the little things. Anything more for our athletes? One more time, see? I ask a lot of questions. Okay, uh, Carter, their point guard, uh, what challenge does she offer and does she remind you of anybody you faced this year? And I guess, man, like I said, you, I looked at, you, you guys all shoot three-pointers out front. So, I mean, I, let's start with um, Amara, I guess, if that's okay with you. Let's answer that question. Um, well, she's very good at getting to the basket whenever she wants, so um, we're really focusing on keeping her in front and um, just playing good defense and making her take tough shots, you know, and that's pretty much all. Anything more for athletes, please? All right, ladies, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. All right, questions for coach, please. Robert Cessna. Doug, since you and Gary have played so much and know each other's in and inside and out, does anybody really have an advantage between you two guys? Because obviously you've thrown everything at each other. He's got Carter, we don't. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what makes them a really good basketball team? Every team is unique. Every year has a life of its own. Every game has a life of its own. Every possession has a life of its own. So no matter how well Gary and I know one another, it's still about the players and what makes this team very unique and tough to defend and tough to prepare for is the ability of the guard play to go with the, the, the ability of Coach Blair to call every play and get the ball to whom he wants, when he wants it, where he wants it. So you got a combination here of, of things to defend. It's not just defending what Gary wants to do with his strength. And don't forget, Hillsman here is a really uh, strong inside player so you know and, and and they're a great rebounding team so they're just more they're, they're, they're just not one-dimensional basketball team so it's really not so much about what I know about Gary or Gary knows about me it's really about the players on the floor and and um, you know you had to ask a follow-up question to my players to get them to talk about Carter and you didn't have to ask a follow-up question to get me to talk about Carter this player's on a on a, a pace to score 3,000 points and a pace to have over 600 assists in her career. I mean, that's that's Kelsey Plum numbers. And, and you're talking about a player that has been able to hone her skills in a very tough league, the, the Southeastern Conference, against some very 
strong opposition. So this is a really, really talented player out there. You can't forget about Williams because you know, I'm talking about Carter. And then the, you know, the Howard and, and Lumpkin rebound, rebound, rebound. He's still got strength inside. So it's a really – it's it's really about the players, and you know we have a really strong DePaul basketball team that's basically built on our balance. You know I, I don't think that Gary's going to have to sit there and worry about anybody getting off for 46. But Carter has scored 46 this year, so and and Gary doesn't have to worry about anybody six five. I think they do have to worry about what is our team and the way our team plays together. In the back, John. John Wilson with KBTX TV. What is your relationship with Coach Blair, and, and what is it like coaching against him? Well, I, I really am one of those believers that we are all in this together. And as much as you want to beat the daylights out of each other in the two hours w in which you play, when it's all, you know, when the, the when, when the sun sets down, and you know, when the you know, when the sun, you know, when, when it's all over, we're in this together. And so, Gary and I have done a lot of things together. When he's come to Chicago, we've gone to Wrigley together. We've had stakes in Chicago together. I'm not uh, you know, the golfer that he is, so I've not made it down. I've been invited to his outing, but I haven't been able to make it down to his outing. So off the court, we, you know, we just, you know, I just really respect what Coach does. And I drink Miller Lite, he drinks Kerr's Lite. I mean, I just basically, we're good friends and, and we like each other and, and I respect what he does. I'm the anti-player when it comes to how we coach our teams. He wants to call every play. I want to let our players play. So, you know, there's things that we we agree you know, with and things that we do differently. So, but it's, it's, it's a good relationship. I, some coaches think they can only beat the other guy if they hate him. And if they don't get along with them, and if they don't talk to them, and if, if they I, I personally believe that the community of coaches and the game of basketball is bigger than any one or two coaches or any one or one or, or two games. So that's how I try to approach it with everybody. Just ran that's the reason I was late. I ran into them out there and, and we started talking and I and I lost my way back here. That's why it took me a while to get here. So over here on the side, Dave, and then we'll come back, Cessna. Coach, you played in one here a couple of years ago. Can can you get any advantage from from having played here and had some success? Well, I'm, it, it's it's an advantage for me, but I didn't play. And and the, these players, I mean, the players that are on our team, Marte Grace did play in that game. Amara Coleman was on the team but didn't play in that game. She played briefly in that game. And so basically the players really were different. It was a different team. So it was a, we had a different team. They had a different team. So I don't know that there was a great advantage gained by that game. Um, they played us in Chicago, beat one, won a close game. We came down here and, and beat a very good A&M team down here. And we also played in the, in the regional semifinals in 2014 out in Lincoln, Nebraska. So we've had a history of playing against each other. And... You know, I, I know we're going against a, always a really, really good basketball team when you're playing against a Gary Blair coach basketball team. Coached against Gary when he was in Arkansas. I never played against him when he was head coach at Stephen F. But so we've gone against each other. We know he just does a great job. And But I, I don't know that it's a really advantage because it's a different team. We're in the side seats. You touched on earlier about every team being different. What makes this team special for you, or what are, what's what's different about this team than other teams you've had? Are you talking about our DePaul team? Yeah. I, I mean, we're very um, interchangeable. I mean, we're we're, we're multi-dimensional. Each player has the ability to take you out on the floor or or get to the rim. There, you know, we don't have anybody on the team. We got six people or five people that can score twenty. We don't really have anybody that can score 30, but they are a team that really does have a lot of balance to them. Our team has a lot of balance, and we have gotten better as the season has gone along here. I mean, it's not been easy with this group to get them to get better, but we have gotten better as the season's come along here. So that excites me about the opportunity of still playing on the second game of the NCAA tournament. More for Coach. Thank everybody. Thank you all for covering women's basketball, and, and I, I know we'll have a great ball game tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.